Hi you guys, this is Masha. <laughs> so I wanted to start a new series that are called Get It In. <laughs> and it's really because I found myself uh, watching some videos that get me really motivated to do things at the same time. Uh, so like yesterday, I was uh, setting up to wrap my gifts for Christmas and I found one lady who was just doing it on sped up footage. So you can actually see how she does it, but she did it for like half an hour. That's all she was doing is just wrapping her gifts. Uh, she was speaking very little, but it was really motivational because there was some music in the background and we were just kind of together doing it. So I thought maybe I should do a series where I'm going to do things around the house, different small projects that we all have. There's always a button that fell off the cushion that you need to sew on. There's always a little baseboard that needs to be washed <laughs> and stuff like that, right? I have a list of things. And then I'm gonna go over in hopes to accomplish at least some of them today with you. I have about two hours to do it all. To do it all, right? <laughs> That's the statement, do it all, try. The Christmas season has been a little bit of a, you know, push, push and shove a little bit for me. And I get a little too jittery because there's so many things to do. So maybe it will inspire one of you or two of you. <laughs> to maybe do some things around your house, maybe even with me while you're sitting there watching me instead of watching me, just get up and go do that one little project today and you'll be so proud of yourself. So right now I'm going to uh, do a little different setup for my foils and wrapping paper because I'm so tired of doing this. So right now, this is how I keep my wrapping papers. All right, so my foil, the plastic one, the little, bags all kinds of little things i hate this whole setup i also don't like that it's on the bottom of the drawer so so instead i'm planning on putting it in here because it's pretty empty in this drawer with all of our silverware so i purchased this one on amazon from m design i don't know if you guys heard of that brand it's really amazing design i have a lot of their um, curtain rods and like they have ingenious little setting um, items for your house so i really enjoyed it so i'm going to do this one right now and i'm going to put my foil and my plastic wrap in it Goodness. Oh, another project. Well, like we said, nothing's perfect. Okay, that one worked. So now I'm gonna sew on some of these buttons here. See there's two that popped off. One is here, two are missing. And I was smart enough to keep all of those buttons that fell off. I watched um, a tutorial or two on how to install the buttons back on these cushions. And um, I ended up just purchasing this kit on Amazon instead, instead of going to the craft store. It was about $11. The main reason was because I had to buy a needle that's long enough and this kit had it. So I figured instead of looking for ginormous needles and driving to the craft store, I'll just get this kit for $11. <laughs> so today I'm gonna use white thread specifically done for cushions because it's like, it doesn't rip basically. And use this gigantic needle. All right, let's get it done.
one button is sewn. Now let's do the second one. <laughs> This one's done. So right now I have a project that is very stinky. So I have a little beautiful candle burning. <laughs> I'm gonna have it burning the whole time. I'm going to change the setup for our compo compost bin inside right now. Uh, we recently started doing composting and uh, we have a little bucket right now that has no lid and it just kind of hangs around. I'll show you. So my plan is to install a pull-out rack and I bought a trash can with a handle and the little lid because otherwise it gets really messy and honestly, like when I'm peeling potatoes, I don't want to put my trash can on the countertops. I know it's a choice for some people. For me, it's not a choice. So I wanted to stay in that um, cupboard, in that cabinet. There's nothing else virtually um, that's important in that um, cupboard besides the trash can right now. Uh, so I wanted to stay that way. Ta-da! <laughs> so that's all of our scraps. Gotta go take it out right now and I'll be right back. So this is the one that we used to use when we first started it and I kept it on the countertop. It was a disaster. It stunk so bad. I, I, I hated it. I, I cannot take it out every single day because we just don't sometimes have enough for every single day. And we're just lazy. We don't want to go take out trash every single day, so we don't. So instead, I purchased this um, trash can by this brand and they send you mounting, uh, mounting gear that you can actually hang it on the doorway like this. But that's not what I wanted because I don't actually want it to sit on the door. I would like something that will be installed in here and that's why I got this rack. Thank you. 
Another one done, you guys. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> Look at this. Mila's gonna play with this forever. All right, could have done it a little bit deeper. So the handle would be away, but it works. Very proud of myself <laughs> and you <laughs> for pushing through and staying and staying around with me. Now it's time to blow out the candle. I got hungry, so I'm gonna make myself a little wrap and I'm gonna actually make one for Daryl too when he comes back. So I'm making us a lunch. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna eat it right from the board. <laughs> it's not for raw meats, it's for cooked uh, foods, usually this board. So I'm gonna have my favorite Mighty Leaf uh, Green Tropical Tea. It's my, just this Mighty Leaf, I have their whole collection, okay? Whole collection, and I keep purchasing every week because I drink it so much. It's amazing, so. Extra calories. <laughs> I do that with pizza crust, where I don't finish pizza crust, I'm thinking that, you know, ooh, you know, 25 calories minus. <laughs> but then I just gulp all of the cheesiness. That's what I watch all day. So now I'm gonna do my highlights on my hair. That's why I kept my hair pretty dirty. For I didn't wash them for like two days uh, because I believe you gotta collect a little bit of oiliness. I don't know why. <laughs> I just think that that's the right thing. It could be wrong. Um, so I usually uh, do highlights myself. Last time I did them in April, and I, I did a really bad job. I did a very patchy. It was a lot of like um, clumps uh, of bleach in spaces but ever since then i've already tried a different way and it was a much better way honestly naturally my hair has a, a bit of a highlight as well um you can't see it of course because I'm, I'm dirty hair but you will actually see that it, it still grows even from the root i have a lot of natural highlights <clears throat> so i just like to clean up uh, the look and add basically my sides my crown uh, right here and I might try a little bit at the bottom too but we'll see how much time and how much patience I will have but I do have a lot of growth at the bottom uh, of my roots because I haven't done full highlight in I think almost a year I do believe that quality service should cost uh, good money but partial highlight costs me with tip about $245 or $240 or so and uh, while I understand it, partial highlight is just this, literally just your crown and just right here. And when I go, I don't even need them to go the whole way. I just need these little parts to be tidy and look more neat. I don't have any haircuts or any blowout at the end because I don't want to add to the cost and it still costs 240 bucks. For me, it's easier to do it by myself, spend one hour, buy a box dye, and then buy a good quality toner and uh, developer, and just do that myself. I'm also going to have a fan running here, so it's going to be really loud, just so I don't suffocate in the bleach fumes. <laughs> I'm wearing my old shirt, and <clears throat> as an ASM artist, I have all of my supplies. <laughs>
So my battery died halfway through, so I couldn't really change it since I was working with bleach. But I've done my sides here, my top, this side, I ran out of my pins, and then I did a little bit underside. I did just three, three spots for underside. So when I'm wearing ponytail, you know, there's some lightness coming from underneath and my center is like all dark, <laughs> dark blonde hair. Okay, so now I'm waiting for just a few more minutes. I might use a blow dryer, I don't know, and start cleaning up. Then I'm gonna wash it off in the tub and then I'm going to put the toner in, uh, you know, wait for that for a few minutes as well, and then wash it off. So basically, I'll show you the result. <laughs> So I'm all done. I just blow dry my hair. I didn't fully blow dry it, so I left it just a tiny bit um, wet because I don't like to like fully blow dry my hair into the dryness. But I just wanted to show you the final result. You can definitely see I'm definitely lighter. I love this cool beige tone. So I used that cool beige toner with developer. And then once it was done, I held it probably for like eight to 10 minutes, I'd say. Like between eight and 10 minutes. And then after that, in the shower, after I washed my hair, I also put in this conditioner in platinum. So it gave me a little bit of the white strands, kind of uh, platinum strands. Of course, it's a little bit chunky. I usually wear my hair kind of like that. There's a little chunk right here that was too much, but I'm not too worried about it at all. It's going to grow out. Overall, again, it's... I think it's done pretty well. And the most important thing is it looks a little bit more refreshed. <laughs> okay, my temples. Um, say hello to all of my pimples here. Um, my temples didn't really take as much, but they definitely lighten up a little bit, but definitely nothing like, like this, which was expected. A couple strands here you see were pretty, pretty nice. Um, so my hair highlighting took me um, about two hours with blow dry and from the start so i definitely ran over my two hour limit <laughs> so it ended up being four hours and daryl was so kind to still keep mila for just a little bit longer so i'm gonna go give him a break and then i'm gonna see you next time thank you for hanging with me let me know if you like these little series bye